Hello, welcome to the channel, subscribe and leave a like. For centuries, patriarchal society has demanded too much from women without ever considering that it destroys them psychologically and physically. Cultures change from country to country, but abuse of women does not, and an example of this is the 10th century Chinese practice of foot binding, also known as foot binding. Beginning during the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period, spreading through the lower social classes in the Qing reign from 1635 to 1912, the practice began because women were taught that their feet needed to be very small, underscoring feminine delicacy, if they wanted to appear more attractive to men for a possible marriage. In a painful procedure, they repeatedly crushed their feet over the years to fit into micro silk shoes, having to relearn to walk, stomping their feet on the floor in an unfamiliar position that caused excruciating pain, leading to definite health problems. This is the story of the women popularly known as Lotus Feet. Victims of society. But that was not all, of course. Thousands of Chinese girls haven't been subjected to the procedure over the centuries just to look more attractive to a man, all that really mattered back then, after all, a single woman was the same as a dead woman, it was society's tactic. To keep them at home and away from matters that did not belong to them, that is, everything that did not involve handicrafts, such as spinning cotton and housework. Yet another mechanism of repression of their freedom. Hundreds of anthropological studies of the condition and its social impacts, plus victims still alive in isolated corners of China, are all that exist today, as the medical consequences were deliberately overlooked even after the practice fell. The lotus foot condition is believed to have originated with Lady Huang Shang, wife of a member of the imperial clan, who died in mid-1243, according to archaeologists who discovered tiny, misshapen feet wrapped in fabric and placed in shoes resembling a lotus. The shape of the feet would have been inspired by a 10th-century court dancer named Yan Yang, who bound her feet in the shape of a moon so she could tiptoe dance for Emperor Liu, inside a 1.5-inch golden lotus. 80 meters, decorated with ribbons and precious stones. For some reason, the excess of delicacy, which ended up strengthening other muscles in the dancer's body due to the constant weight on the balls of her feet, such as the gluteal muscles, provoked a type of erotic connotation that caught the attention of men, who were incessantly looking for by women with the same attributes. In view of this, the ladies of the court began to tie their feet to try to acquire a similar body. In the end, a small foot in China was to a narrow waist in Victorian England. The years have taken care of making a mandatory 10-centimeter foot, known as the Golden Lotus, the most respected of the lotus feet category. Feet below average, those over 15 centimeters in length, were called iron lotuses, the ones that would be discarded by men. A woman with one foot in those dimensions didn't have a future. Years of Suffering a Lotus Feet Project published in 2015 by photographer Joe Farrell, titled Farrell Living History, Bound Feet Women of China, focused on documenting disappeared cultural practices, began in 2005 in Shandong province with an elderly woman named Zhang Yining, grandmother of a taxi driver from Shanghai who ended up mentioning to the professional about her having her feet bandaged, a holdover from a practice so old that there were almost no living witnesses left. Over nine years of searching and developing the project across China, Pharaoh managed to track down 50 women of different advanced ages, of which the oldest was 103 years old. In interviewing them, he told The Guardian that the first year of foot binding is considered the most painful because the young women, typically seven years old, had to walk on their feet glued together in triangular points until their toes broke. The feet were also beaten to break them completely then bathed in herbs and oils to loosen the bruised skin, and tied in lotus shoes. After that, their toes would go numb and, 50 or 60 years later, they would stop feeling pain, or feeling their feet. Everything was numb, Farrell reported. In the mid-1950s, foot binding was banned by Mao Zedong, who ordered anti-foot binding inspectors to publicly shame a woman with lotus feet, as the ancient tradition did not represent the modern future the country envisioned. 80 Proximal Video